C'est magnifique. Lui, si tu as voilà, déjà quelques cadeaux, lui vous offre ses volants dédicaces. Hello and a warm welcome to your next French Open 2019. French Open is part of only five Super 750 tournaments on the HSBC BWF World Tour. We are in the magnificent city of Paris, rich in culture, historic buildings, palaces, museums and obviously the Eiffel Tower. We are live from the Stade Pierre de Gobotin, situated in the 16th arrondissement in Paris. An arena opened in 1937 with a seating capacity of 4,000 people. It all started with the Thailand Masters in January. Last week we were at the Denmark Open in Unser and this week's French Open is the 21st tournament this year on the World Tour and it's all leading up to the HSBC BWF year-end finals in December in Guangzhou. Today is divided into two sessions and I, Morten Frost, will guide you in the first session consisting of three matches and for your information, second session will start at 3 p.m. this afternoon. Today is semi-finals day of competition and the first session, first match is a women's singles match between the teenage sensation Ang se of Korea against the defending champion and former world-ranked number one Akane Yamaguchi of Japan who is on a combat mission from injury. Second match is a men's singles featuring the possibly quickest player in the discipline, Anthony Ginting, Indonesia, versus the defending champion, two times world champion and reigning Olympic champion, Chen Long of China. Match number three is a men's doubles between the highly entertaining and undisputed best pair in the world at the moment, Gideon and Sukamulyo of Indonesia, up against the surprise from Chinese Taipei, Liao and Su. I do hope you will enjoy as we have a great lineup for you this morning and the first match on will be a women's singles. Four different nationalities. Number one and number two seed has made it to this semi-final stage and we will have our focus on the match in the lower half between Ang se of Korea against Akane Yamaguchi of Japan, the number two seed. And we are getting ready to get the players uh, onto court and in the meantime we can tell you what a fantastic week it has been here in Paris uh, so far. So many uh, good matches uh, we have seen, so many surprises and uh, so many fantastic rallies. So welcome Bienvenue to the French Open 2019. Akane Yamaguchi won the year-end finals. One time she's won the China Open, one time Denmark Open, and twice she has won the Japan Open. And this year she added on the Indonesian Open, the Super 1000 tournaments. So we have the countdown for the first player coming on to court. And as I can see, it will be Ang se -yong. Having four career senior titles to her CV, this year translates to two quarterfinals, one semi-final, and one win of this 2019. Yeah, look at the. Facial expression here on Ang Se Young. I don't think she really knows what to do here. The your opponent from uh, Japan, the number two seed, Akane Yamaguchi. Yamaguchi. Former world number one on the world ranking here. And we will soon get ready 
to toss up the coin. Since uh, July this year, since the Japan Open, Akane Yamaguchi have lost uh, four tournaments in the first round. So that translates to two and a half months, but it's due to the fact that she's been injured and had a hip problem, lower back problem, and then later had a calf problem. So it's good to see her back here at a semi-final stage in a tournament. And as you saw the head-to-head -head between the two players, it's the uh, first time they ever play. And uh, Ang Se Yong, as I told you, is just 17 years of age. She's ranked 16 in the world, and she has enjoyed one week as a number 16. Last time was on Tuesday when the world ranking was published on the 22nd of October. Her way uh, to this uh, semi final is uh, quite remarkable. First round against Debusan and Ongbang Rumpan of Thailand winning 10 and 12 was really outstanding. And yesterday's quarter final against Sina Nevo winning as close as 22 20, 23 21. In a nail biting match for the young Korean. It, she shows tremendous uh, mental stamina as well as physical stamina. Her opponent of today, Akana Yamaguchi, age 22, and as I mentioned at the moment, ranked number two in the world. She has been as high as number one, and she has stayed at number one for 10 weeks. The last time was on the 17th of September this year, so just a few weeks ago. She won her matches in two straight games, and yesterday, of course, it was desperately sad for her Jiao of China. She had to retire after the first game, so the match only lasted 13 minutes. The umpire for the match is uh, Kathleen Lesson of right, France. Boy. And uh, the service judge is uh, Simu Gabi of uh, Uganda. Akane Yamaguchi, defending champion. She was runners-up in the French Open in 2017. Reached a quarter-final in uh, 2015 and is making her seventh appearance here at the French Open despite being only 22 years of age. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Akane Yamabushi, Japan. And what a way to start there for Yamaguchi. A wonderful disguise shot. Directed towards the deep forehand corner of Ang Siyong. Lovely disguise. Similar shot here from Yamaguchi. It's 
that is over. By many considered Two, to be one. a retrieving player only, however, in my opinion, she's got a very good technique and with playing with an awesome pace as well. Good attacking skills too. So a much, much more complete player than just a retrieving player. But I can see already here at the beginning, she is still is not back to her very best. Normally she's much quicker on that defensive shot on the backhand side. But let's see how it all progresses here in this match. Ang Se Young stretched Four, to the maximum, but look at how well she played that net shot. Good control, played it very tight to the net despite being under a lot of pressure. What a good save it was from Yamaguchi there. And oh. that's what's so impressive by Ang Se Young from such a low position on the forehand at the net. Try to look at this one. She still play quality Five, shot. Two. And not only that, the follow-up at the net afterwards was just magnificent. Good start from uh, the youngster. Service over. Three, five. The World Junior Championship was uh, just completed here in October this year. And uh, Aung Se Young chose not to participate as she wanted to focus on uh, her senior badminton. Yeah, that's a lovely clear from uh, Yamaguchi. Very flat, good attacking clear. Service over. Four, six. But perhaps Yamaguchi should not try to play the shots so tight to the net because that gives Ang Se Young a chance to play these reply tight net shots as well. Yamaguchi. So I. Yeah! possibly think she can uh, be better Seven, off if she's playing four. what we call a lot play the shots into the court and making sure that Aung San Young is not getting too close to the net that will be, make the short uh, the court smaller 
and in, in that way young you do not have to run as much. And that's out. Yeah, he clipped the top of the tape. Good defensive shot. Service over. Hard to control for five seven. Ang Se Young here in the picture. Nancy Young just came on to the world scene of senior badminton this year and has done so extremely well. Of course, she made everyone's head turn. Oh, what a good shot there from Nancy Young. Cross court smash. But in May at Nine, the Sudirman five. Cup, she beat at the time the world number one, Tai Su Ying, in three games. And in last week's Denmark Open, she beat the reigning world champion. PV Sindhu of India in two straight games, 21-14, 21-17. So having beaten uh, the world uh, number one from uh, Chinese Taipei and the reigning world champion uh, within just uh, three again, or four again, months again. is, of course, the same. a fantastic okay. result here for the youngster. Why? <laughs> Playing with good pace. Ang Siong, good smash down the line there. Goes into the mid-game interval with a lead of 11-5 in eight minutes of play. あ、ちょっと、あの、ちょっと、あの、ちょっと、あの、ちょっと、あの、ちょっと、あの、ちょっと、あの、ちょっと、あの、ちょっと、あの、ちょっと、あの、ちょっと、あの、ちょっと、あ
seven. the first attacking Seven shots over. here from uh, Yamaguchi. Eight, it just proves that she's such a good attacking player as well. And of course that uh, cross-court smash from the around the head situation is one of her favourites. a bit more pace here Akane Yamaguchi 9-13 well, there's a lot of pressure on Ang Si Young so young just 17 years of age playing at this a very very high level already 10 and every time she steps on court, it's a first. It's going wide. Suddenly the gap is just uh, two points between the two players. 11-13. After having been 11-5 down at the interval, Yamaguchi has caught up to So Young is uh, on the race to Tokyo, the Olympics next year, number seven on the list. And that's based on uh, 12 tournaments. And if she qualifies within the top 16, chances are that Korea might get two participants into the women's uh, singles. Service over. 14-12. That was a well-worked rally here from uh, Yamaguchi. 13, 14. Again, again. Yes, yes. Ang Se Young had no Thank reply you. to the sheer pressure of that smash that down the line. Been trailing six 13, points 14. at the mid-game right. interval. Now there's just a point in it between the two players. Good comeback here from uh, Yamaguchi. Good anticipation by Ang Se Young. Really good at the net there. 
Yeah, that's well played by the youngster. She had the chance, Yamaguchi defended herself well, but one of the defensive shots. Service was over. Really, really. 15. Putting Ang Si Young in a lot of trouble. But here, the winning shot, the smash down the line on the backhand side. That's a good play by uh, Ang Si Young. Yeah, that's a good shot from uh, Akana Yamaguchi. And it's interesting to see that uh, Ang Si Young, she started 14, uh, this tournament with heavy 16. strapping on her right knee. But as the uh, tournament has progressed, uh, that strapping has disappeared. But that's good. The youngster's not having any injury problems. Sixteen. Good attacking skills from the Korean. Service from that over. around the head situation, she's got 17, some good options. 15. The smash down the line is what we see here, stretching Yamaguchi to the maximum. But she's also got that very nice cross-court smash with a small slice on it as well. So got good options from the around the head situation. Play. I think 18, 15. the Japanese was uh, hoping for a little bit of a side drift today. It's a small, small drift from right to left in the arenas. You are watching the court here. Just a very tiny drift from uh, right to left. And this time it stays. On her own side, there. Very Service unfortunate over. for Ang Si Young. And not only that, a string has gone in the racket. That's it. This time down the line, yes. That's good pressure there from uh, Yamaguchi, but very nice response here. Good anticipation from Ang Si Young, especially on that forehand defence here. That's well covered.
A strong net play from the Korean. Very, very tight net shots. Setting up good attacking opportunities. 19, and look at the way 17. she finished it off at the net. That was a nice follow up. Just two points away from taking this opening game and a two point lead here for Ang Se Young. And that's out. Game. And the first game goes to Ang Se Young of the Korea. Ang Se Young, 21 17. And confirmation 21 17 in 22 minutes of play. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Thank you, coach, please. Players on the court. On the court, please. Second game, love all play. And we're ready to commence the second game. Um, see you serving after having won the opening game 21-17. Service over. One love. <laughs> Service over. One all. That's good deceptive shots from uh, the Yamaguchi, forcing uh, Three, one. Ang Se Young to dive and then totally out of balance for the last shot. Look at this one. Yeah, had to go down on the floor there. 
Well played by Thank you. Yamaguchi. Really cleverly played over the top of her opponent. Play. I think it's interesting to see that every time Akana Yamaguchi is sort of stepping on the pedal, adding on more pace and pressure, it's very difficult for Aung San Suu to follow pace. Service over. Two, four. That's still based on Yamaguchi's injuries and in, uh, in the past few months. I still think what we see here is Three, definitely not 100% already Yamaguchi yet, but I'm sure that will come in the, the weeks and months to follow. Young playing a very clever tactic here, not really going cross court on many occasions, but staying down the line for most of her shots, which it gives her a little bit more time in the sense that it's her opponent that's got to open up on the cross one. And uh, that Five, means that the opponent has four. to run the full diagonal. So clever play, keep it in down the line. It's over. Five all. Over. Six, five. Service over. Six, all. And this is a lovely disguise shot. Seven, the four. attack from uh, the Japanese can be. But we see some of these really very good rallies from her, and then suddenly we also see completely unforced errors. Service over. Eight, seven.
service over. Nine, eight. And that's where the cross pot comes. Favourite shot here from Amster Young. Played to perfection. Ten, eight. Suddenly jumping up, injecting a lot of pace. And playing that beautiful cross court, half court smash. Oh. 11 8 interval. And this time, Ong Se Young goes into the mid game interval with a lead of 11 8. Ten minutes of play in the opening game, she was up 11 5. <laughs> Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Eleven, eight, Roy. It's over. Nine, eleven. Yes. It's call in. On well, say young challenge. Have a challenge. Call in. The first challenge of today by Ang Se Young. She was very, very surprised to see that being called in. So she's possibly having a good case, but let's see what Hawkeye is saying. Nope, she is wrong. Challenge and successful. Means that uh, Ang Se Young has got one challenge remaining Service here in the second game. 10, 11. Every game you start off with two challenges. If you are successful, you keep them. If you are unsuccessful, you lose them one by one. First four points after the interval has gone to Akane Yamaguchi. 11 8 down now, 12 11 up. Thank you.
is over. 12, 13. Caught here from Ang Si Young. 13 all. Ang Si Young, who won the New Zealand Open earlier this year, the Super 300 tournament, beating Elisha Ray in that final 21 19, 21 15. And uh, Elisha Ray, who just announced her retirement from international badminton, the uh, 14, Olympic 13. champion from 2012. And of course, we wish her all the best. Yeah, she's got good net play, the youngster. Yamaguchi working her way into this match, minute by minute. And the longest Thank you. rally Back on the court, so Amazing. far, 34 shots. Oh, I think uh, Ang Si Young was actually apologising for celebrating the shot that was called out. As you are not allowed to, to influence the line persons. Fantastic play here by Ang Si Young. But we saw some of the fantastic retrieving skills from uh, Akana Yamaguchi Service as well. Over. 15 all. Yeah. Cannot fault Yamaguchi for not trying, that's for sure. Good net exchange here from the two players. Good anticipation by Ang Si Young on that forehand defensive shot. But the follow-up was just too much for the youngster. Look at this net, net exchange. Service over, 16-15. Good play by both players.
14, 15. Oh, what a response there. Flat cross-court drive from the forehand. That was an awesome response from 18, uh, Yamaguchi. 15. Three points ahead and three points to secure a third and final game for Yamaguchi. Yeah, that's awesome play once again. See these really nice net shots over. from uh, Ang Se Young. She's 16, really got a very 18. tight and nice and net play. Service over. 17, 19. Yeah, we just saw the referee come on to court and now has to bring water for Yamaguchi. The coach is not allowed to walk in. So only the referee is allowed to do so. She played that one, I think it was going out. Yeah, she's looking at the line. Was it in or out? We will never know. However, Yamaguchi chose to play it. 18, 19. I think that was going out. Eighteen, nineteen. And can you believe service it? What a time for a service 20, points, error 18. here from Ang Se Young giving Akane Yamaguchi two game points. a rally of patience, waiting for the right opportunity. Now oh, Yamaguchi is adding the pressure, pace here. A good response from Ang Se Young. And here is a good opportunity. She cannot believe it. That shot was just so short 19, from Ang Se Young. Come on, Ang Good defensive skills Back here. On Back on court. And here the chance, as you can see, it is so short. Nevertheless. Play. Yamaguchi is missing that great opportunity. Now that one is pushed long, 20 all. 
two game point disappears from Akane Yamaguchi. And it's getting very, very close indeed. Wonderful, wonderful net play here by Ang Siyong. This one here just clipping the top of the tape. And then the follow-up on the cross-court here. Point, Good 20. anticipation. Setting up match point for Ang Siyong. Twenty match twenty one match point twenty. Oh, she slipped, still managed to control it. Service over twenty one all. Akane Yamaguchi. Once again, somehow Ang Se Young managed to get that one over. And once again, it's just clipping the top of the tape. The shot from Ang Se Young. But the youngster is not looking comfortable. Try to have a look, she's sitting outside the court. So that is brilliant play. 22, 21. Setting up match point number two. Perhaps we saw the beginning of a cramp there for Ang Se Young. Let's see how this develops. And there it comes. Once again, fantastic net play by Ang Se Young. Setting up the winner. So very, very tight. Intelligent net play here by the youngster, only 17 years of age. Beating world number two, Akane Yamaguchi from Japan the defending champion here at the French Open. You must thank you for one play. Match won by Anse Young, 21-17, 23-21.
qualifié pour la finale des Yonex yeah, IFB 2019. Look at the celebration there. The best of the competition. Ang Se Young and here we got the, the confirmation. 21-17-23-21 in 51 minutes. The Korean teenage sensation continues to surprise the world of badminton.